My name is Jessica Wirtz. I'm a ceramic artist and jeweler. I got into ceramics by way of painting and drawing, which has always been my passion. There's a very small little town called Floyd, Virginia. Uh, one stoplight town and it's just full of artists and musicians. And I stayed there for two years and did an apprenticeship with a master potter named Sylvie Granatelli and grew my business really in Oakland, San Francisco area. So um, yeah, I had traveled. I actually lived in New Mexico when I was 18, 19, 20 right after high school and decided that I would be back here for sure. Uh, it just took a few years to get back. Um, so I'm not digging any of my own clay yet, but there's a lot of uh, clay mines up here in Kingston that I look forward to checking out at some point. The distribution center I use is in Albuquerque currently. I use uh, Cone 6 clay, so it's a mid-range, as are my glazes. Um, I make all functional pottery and jewelry. So all of my pottery starts over here on the wheel where I throw it. Um, once I take it off of the wheel, it's uh, all about a drying process. So just like timing everything up to dry at the right speed, whether I need to put a handle on it or decorate it. I would say my favorite piece to make is a mug. I find that that's often the piece that most people want to gift to somebody. Uh, it's often the piece that they choose for themselves in their own home. And in that, there is a sense of intimacy and ritual in the day that they use that piece with. And I find that really beautiful. So it's also my favorite. So these are bone dry. And then they'll go into a firing, which is called a bisque. And so a bisque firing is about 2,200 degrees. And so those will go into the kiln. When they come out of the kiln, that's when you glaze them. So a lot of people kind of think that, oh, you put it in a kiln once, but it's actually twice. I mix all of my own glazes and make all of my own glazes, so, which means I don't buy them commercially. Uh, so there's chemistry involved in that, obviously, which is another aspect that I like in ceramics. And so the turquoise has always been the mainstay, um, white and black as well. And then I bring in other subtle colors, such as gray, to support these colors. And for me, it's just really about the calming effect that they have. This over here is another project called Spirit Vessel. And Spirit Vessel is bringing guided, intimate, personalized ceremonies back into the home. So the families actually set them up for themselves instead of a funeral home. Yeah. Um, I, I make those as a line, but I also make them custom for people. And so really, you know, the ceramics, the urn is really a tool that I'm using to have a, a broader conversation about death and grief and loss in this culture, which is really swept under the rug to a devastating point. Those to me are the most sacred pieces I make. My affinity towards utilitarian wear is just always so strong because I really love things that are in the home. And yeah, it's, it would be really hard for me to claim one part's more difficult than the other. Like once you know your clay body, once you know your glazes, uh, once you know how you decorate and the cons consistency of things and the wetness or dryness, like it's, at this point, that feels pretty programmed for me. Um, so I wouldn't say there's like a challenge in a specific area. In the beginning, it's all a challenge though. <laughs>